like you. Is there a way for me to get you back? I mean, uh, not in a weird way. I just... <laughs> if I'm in your area and I'm on, um, and I'm the closest one to you, that's kind of how it works, is it just re requests the closest driver to you. So I can't just like call you, I have a special code, like a... <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have like a referral code that I can, I can give out. That is so disappointing. Yeah. Because I was thinking about calling you tomorrow morning to get my car, which I have no idea. Oh, you need to get actually. back to your car? I yes. see. Yeah, no, I'm probably gonna drive pretty late tonight and then I won't I won't really be on tomorrow until real late at night again. You, it is a your, little bit too early in the your night. Your tag is out. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it fixed? Thank you. I can't stand tags being out. <laughs> I see like, that. Well, I hope you make it to your car tomorrow. Thank I you. hope you, you get a sure good driver. I can get your number for at least, you know, I can pay you under the table like twice mm. as much. That is a very generous offer. It's just in case because some driver are crazy. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They don't, they don't really vet us that well. That's here. There you are. Well, that was fun. You have been a delight. I'll I, put you five stars. Thank you. I'll put you five stars too. If I could put six, I would. <laughs> It was very nice of you. <laughs> Have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Bye. officer out there wasn't willing to help me hail a cab even though I can't see very well and there were this is uh, this small group of people these two girls and a guy that walked by and the guy was trying to give me his number and I thought well that's that's kind of strange you know so I said no 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 it's you know it's all right you know I appreciate the offer uh, as he was walking away I yelled out peace <laughs> and and so the girls started laughing and he and the guy was like peace peace to the Middle East <laughs> <laughs> so you made a friend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm, I turned a, a negative situation into a positive. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Okay, here we are. You need an arm? Fuzzy. Hey, how's your night going? <laughs> good. You got good timing. I'm in between rides. Are you making millions of dollars? Millions and millions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not going to be good when you get home. Always do. And don't forget, Simon is coming over tomorrow. Got it. Okay, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Night. Good night, Fuzzy. Don't act so cynical when all the time starts to come around At this moment it's critical But you lost yourself in the crowd And that feeling it gets too strong We're too young to wait too long I can give, yes I can change that I'll prove to you someday Oh, I do it for the good Glory in a sinking world Do it for anyone who's ever let you
Dad? Hey. It's me, babe. Can you see me? You hit your head. You hit your head pretty hard. Sorry. Okay. Give me a little surprise omelet. And... Is that you, Judd? Jesus Christ. Yeah. You scared the hell out of me. Yeah, sorry. Let me ask you something. Is this like your first fair, your last fair? I'm toward the beginning, yeah. All right. Um, so here's the thing, I really have nowhere to be, and I just don't want to be at home. So, if you're okay with it, let's just keep the meter running and drive me around a bit. Where? Your call. 
What's your favorite place in the city? Really? I mean, maybe not your favorite if you don't want to give it away, but <laughs> whatever. I mean, just, you know, I, I really don't want to be at the house. So, yeah, I free. I mean, not free. I'll pay you, obviously, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Sure. All right. I don't eat breakfast. You should know that. <laughs> you always eat breakfast. I bring I never it to eat you most of the time. Fuzzy, you almost always eat breakfast because I, I never eat breakfast. How's your night going? Um, I've had better weeks, but the night's the night's not bad. It's getting started, right? Right. <laughs> really, just needed to lay my head, get out for a bit. I like to take a brain break every once in a while. Brain break. Everybody yeah. needs a brain break. No. I'm gonna back up. Look. <sighs> okay. Just have a little breakfast and relax. Can we cut it for you? God damn it. What's going on? It's just, Megan, she wants me to come over there tonight and I just, I, I don't honestly know if I'm ready for that. Yeah. Uh, like literally two weeks ago was the last time I spoke to him. All he'll do is text me. I tried to call him and straight to voicemail. I mean, he's just going through something and we just need to talk in person and we can figure this out. I'm, I've been living with, my lady now for probably about almost two years. Yeah. Um, and we've been on rocky ground for a couple weeks now, so just been kind of staying with my friend to let it let it air out. Okay. Yeah. Is, are you going to make it through it, or do you want to, or I what? I don't actually know. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean... We got in a fight, but I found a gay dating app on his phone. And what about you, mate? Well, I am in a functional relationship for probably the first time in my life. For how long? Uh, we're at the three-year mark. Wow. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's astounding to me. Three happy years, too, I have to say. I mean, there hasn't been any more than just a couple of spats. It's, I mean, we've had our serious fights, but it's really amazing how the next day we're always just able to kind of wake up and forgive each other. Come on, breakfast is important. You need to eat. Come on, Fuzzy. Yank. Oh. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Take it. Okay. What do you do for work? Uh, photography. Oh. Yeah. And how did you meet your lady? Okay, so uh, long story short, whether it's gonna be long, I don't know, but long story, I guess. We met during a photo shoot. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and she's stunning, just beautiful, uh, caring, sweet, she's smart. And we met and we didn't leave each other's side for two weeks. One of those where you're just like <laughs> yeah. instantly connected. Right, absolutely. And we've been living together ever since. And she didn't want to get to go to the next step, and I've just been a little hesitant. Threesome? 
What? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. uh, kids or marriage? Uh, marriage. But my lady and I had a bit of an argument, life-changing argument, and uh, she doesn't really understand my work. You see, when I take a photo, my job isn't to just take the photo, you know? It's not to just get a pretty face. Right. It's, it's to evoke emotion. Okay. I need to be able to see what is going on with your life. I need to be able to feel what it is that's coming from that. And as soon as I figured that out, I knew how to handle people. Um, and it was, it was all human behavior more than anything. Um, it was just like, I knew how to, how to get something from you. Wow. You know, no matter what it is. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Easy. Simon. Who is Simon? Our wedding planner, Simon. Is oh, God, I totally forgot. Coming over. Okay. Uh, Simon. Yeah, Simon. Here, let's do this. Simon. Wait, here. Yeah. <laughs> You're a little mess. Just a second. Okay. Yeah, Simon. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah He's supposed fine. to be coming over. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. In my business, you need to be sort of like a chameleon in order to connect with people. Yeah. And it's not a whole lot different than what you probably do. I mean, you you probably act like a little bit different every time you have someone different in your vehicle, right? Absolutely. I feel like I have to change my personality for every new person I meet. Brandon? Yeah, uh, Simon? It's nice to put a face with a name. Ditto. Pleasure. Thank you. Come on in. <laughs> but this time, I swear, I mean, Megan is being completely unreasonable. I mean, we would have arguments sometime, but, like, stupid little arguments. You know, like, um, leaving your spit in the sink instead of renting it out. Right. Yeah, <laughs> no, me and my fiancé have the same fight. I think that's just part of a healthy relationship. But you said fiancé. I, yeah, I did say fiance. Wow. Seth told me about that, yeah. Uh, if you come right here to the left, actually, we, um, we just finished a lot of this. I love it. Love it. Got some style. That's yeah, cool. I was actually listening to a podcast that um, explained how green is like an energy color, so it kind of gives you a little extra, you know? Ooh. And then some cool masks we did. It's kind of my favorite spot. Awesome. Um, some of the shells, actually, we got, we did a little trip to Hawaii not too long ago. Uh, so it was nice. Nice. And brought some stuff back, just memory. Oh, and kitchen. Let me show you real quick. I did, uh, <laughs> we have this thing about directions. It's a weird, <laughs> but anyway, so we did some green throughout because uh, I thought it would just kind of pop, you know? Okay. Uh, and of course, the beautiful Steph. <laughs> so now that I know you have a fiance and you know a little bit about me, well, if you don't mind me stalking you, can I find you on social media? Oh, yeah. Uh, Brandon Scott. Scott. It's yeah, a neat yeah. name. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Have a seat, Simon. Hi, how are you? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go now. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. No, it's a pain to come to the house, so I. I have no problem it. making house calls. Trust me, it's totally fine. Thank you. I know you may feel nervous. <laughs> I want you to know. That I'm gonna help guide you through everything, okay? Yeah. Good. What's her name, by the way? What's? Oh, uh, Steph. It's nice. What is what is your favorite thing about Steph? I've always been aimless, relatively aimless in my life, and I think she identified that in me pretty quickly, and so she's able to kind of steer me, and or help me steer myself. It's definitely not a control thing. Like she's just able to kind of feel who I am and help me find how to get there. So let's start with a few pictures of wedding cakes. Great. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Favorite color's blue. He will, um, uh, he, Brandon, 
Um, yeah. But Brandon loves chocolate. He loves the color blue. Chocolate and blue. Yeah. Okay, guys, look. I understand what's going on here. This is a big step. <laughs> you guys have some really cute photos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We try and be creative. There are, like, a list of photos here where neither of you are smiling. The Hawaii ones? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, we took a trip to Hawaii, and now we're saving up to go to Machu Picchu. We like to go to really beautiful places and take pictures looking as miserable as possible. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so have you all thought about a destination wedding? Um, we've thought about escaping somewhere to, uh, not have to deal with family ah, and... an escape is good. Right. It's very, very manageable and not as expensive as you would think. Any places in mind? Beach? Outdoors? Huh? You know, uh, everything that I love, so... Um, she has mentioned Machu Picchu once. That's a possibility, but it's a... A little more expensive mm, let's sometimes. Let's see if we have anything lined up inside. Oh, yeah, she is a little cutie. You guys are adorable together. Oh, thank you. Thank You've you. made me a huge admirer of your life. Let me show you all a few options. That way we can get an understanding of what you may like. You know what, Simon, let me... Let me stop you for a second. Um, we have been so rude. We did not offer you anything to drink. <laughs> are you thirsty? Oh, I'm, good. I'm actually really... Thirsty, I would love some more water. Uh, do you want me? Possible. Want some water? Sure. Right. Yeah. Don't take a glass of sure. water. Uh, ice? Ice water's fine, yeah. Okay. Maybe some lemon in mine, too? Yeah, man. Would be great. Right here, I'll actually take the place. In the meantime, I'll just show her some things and wait for your opinion when you get back. For sure. Okay, so. Simon. This is kind of what I was thinking. Simon. This is. That's not Brandon. Yeah, uh, let me show some photos on my phone. That way, maybe we can uh, get a better idea. Come on. Hurry. Just hurry up. Um, what's some type of destination or place you want? <laughs> Fuzzy, oh. look what you did. actually going I'm just driving I mean I feel bad that like we're no. just driving around it's, and it's fine really I, I really don't have anywhere specific to go um, but this is on your do I mean you're paying by the mile <laughs> and the minute right yeah, now no, like I feel bad I really just don't want to be home so I'm sorry if I'm talking too much just let me know I, I... no you're fine um, hell do you have anywhere you want to go uh if yes. I, yeah, I've I've got a place that I go. Fine. That Show I me. when I just need to think. I like it. Let's let's check it so out then. Sure. That sounds good.
Ah, this is really nice. Yeah. And the water is almost like glass. Yep. How did you find this place? When you drive for a living, you find a lot of random hidden spaces. Fair enough. Did you drop someone off that living in a boat? I actually did. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Look at that. Weird as that sounds. And I was like, so how do you get your mail? He said it just goes to the dock. It wasn't oh. a very climactic story. It's nice, though. It's good. This is the closest thing I can find in the city to complete silence. So if you need to let anything breathe, breathe. So earlier, maybe I wasn't as truthful as I should have been about Megan. Um, but, you know, we're real friends now. Yeah. <laughs> Show me your spot. You're no longer in a U-Ride car. Well, Megan found this dating app on my phone, and I met this guy out for a drink. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like a date. I mean, not really, you know. Well, yeah, OK, it was a date. It was yeah, a date. Yeah, it sounds like a date. At that point. Yeah. Uh, God damn it. So um, I met him out, and he was really a nice guy. I mean, just interesting. And yeah. we chatted for a while, uh, and it started getting closer to. Literally seconds before we touched lips, I froze up because all I could think about was Megan and what it would do to her. I guess. I came to the realization that I shouldn't throw away something this good just to try something different. Yeah. It sounds like you have like an innate curiosity, but that you still feel an overwhelming drive to be with her. But kind of like you're not ready to commit yet, maybe? You've got a way with words, mate. <laughs> you should start writing or something. Oh, thank you, thank you. Or giving relationship advice, whichever one. I don't know, I mean, it feels... You make me feel better about it. Like I, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I should go tonight. All right, progress, baby steps. Yeah, I mean, if all else, we figure it out. Yeah. We're not wasting our time for me to figure out whatever the hell I want to do. That's a, that's a big step. OK. Shall we go tackle the beast? I don't know if I'd call, if I call Megan a beast. I wasn't calling Megan a beast. Well, you kind of said tackle the beast. The situation is a beast. Okay. The scenario is a beast. Did you ever tell Steph, hey, let's go tackle the beast? I do. It means a very different thing in that. Jesus. All right. I'll meet you at the car. You're going to finish up whatever you're doing out here. Nasty. Okay. Look, see? Here we go. Already. She is coming back, texting me again about. Well, uh, I'm going to tell her that. I would like to come see her. Um, yeah, I, right. I think that's what we do. I think that's uh, the next step. To come <clears throat> see you. All right, so, hey, all right, she said, I am welcome to come over. All right, all right so. Okay. It, um, do you I'm feel in. good about it? Yeah, I do, really. Good. Because of you, mate, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I think it got weird there. No. I think it got weird no. a little bit. Weird is like, that's weird. This is a fast friendship. That's a friendship right that there. A fast <laughs> friendship right there. That's pretty. Oh. Uh, I think. I don't know if I've ever gotten. Not to use the word close, but I don't think I've ever gotten inserted. so close to. Well, okay. <laughs> I feel like you should bring her a gift. Okay. Uh, what about... What about... Um, champagne? I don't know. She's not really like a champagne... Chocolate. She loves chocolate, but 
I don't know if like it is almost three in the morning. Yeah, I don't know that, if she's gonna appreciate like a snack and a bar. Yeah, <laughs> like from a gas, gas station. <laughs> <laughs> what about flowers? She does like flowers. She does. She does like flowers. Okay. Okay. Um. So flower shops stay open till three a.m. ish. Most of the time, mm, but did you no, know somewhere? No, I that... was thinking we steal some flowers. You want to go steal flowers? I was thinking about it. From where? What, what are you doing with your face? This is my devious face. You can't make that face. <laughs> it's you my devious face, face, not my do it. relationship helper face. What I is the room? completely different face for that. Show me that one. Let's let's just stick with the flowers. Do you usually bring um, Stephanie flowers when? I think that Steph probably gives me some pity smiles because she probably prefers something else. But she's always fine with them. I mean, she's happy. It's the thought that counts. What? That I was just what I was just enjoying how both of you settle for shit. The other one's happy. <laughs> I, that, I guess that's, that's a sign no. of a good relationship. <laughs> so flowers, um, flowers, omelets with avocado and kale. Favorite color is blue. What does she do for a living? Did you tell me that? She's um, a psychology major. Oh wow! All so, right. Yeah. Um, and she's smart I like that. Yes. Oh, yes. Very smart. Smarter yeah. than me, probably. <laughs> what is your plan? How it is. Get flowers. Right. Flowers are good. How do you explain the app? I'm hoping that if I can explain to her what I explained to you, I realized that I didn't want to lose her because of how important she is. That? How nailed it. Like, start with how important she is, right? Yes, nailed it. Yeah, because when I was explaining it to you, I really didn't hesitate. In it. Well, I hesitated for a little bit because it's kind of scary telling a complete stranger that you have a gay dating app on your phone and you went on a date. I hey, man. To each their own. I'm not, I'm not on this planet to judge people. Well, that's fantastic, but I have not been in a committed relationship with you, and I'm not yes, bringing you flowers true. that my that's Uber true. driver stole out of somewhere you are. <laughs> this is my U-Ride protection. Steph insists I keep it in here. Shh, come on. Alright. Do you really need a knife? Alright, okay. I guess we're really doing this, huh? Are you gonna am I doing this by myself? Or what? What is that? What are these things? I don't know. I didn't take part in either.
nervous for you. <laughs> is okay. this the place? This is it. I've got my flowers. Flowers in hand? Flowers in hand. And I guess this is uh, where we um, slay the beast? Tackle. Tackle the beast. Tackle the this beast. is where we tackle the beast. Yeah. Yeah, slaying is something else, isn't it? Yeah. Whew. All right. You OK? Yeah, I think so. Is this the end of our road? Um. Do I finally end trip? Actually, let's do this here. 20. Thank you. OK? Yeah, absolutely. You've been fantastic. Thank you. All right, I'm going to make this happen. Um. Do I wait? Um. If this goes well, I get to move back to my own home. If it does not, I will be back here, I guess. OK. How long do I wait? 20. We can go. So, uh, you broke up. <laughs> yeah, man, I just... Uh, yeah. It... But, I mean, that's okay, right? I mean, that's what... That's I don't okay. know. I don't, I don't know if it's okay, because I didn't... I don't know that that's what I wanted to do in the first place, and I don't know if... <sighs> I need a fucking drink is what I need. I need a drink. Done. I'm not buying my beer. I'm buying these for you. That's the least I can do. How how's your night going? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. Can you swipe your card there, please. Yes, sir. Your beers? Your beer. You keep that one. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna jump in the back, and charge my phone up. Is that fine with you? Yeah. I can't drive with this. Yeah, you can. Oh. 
So where are we headed? Should I just take you back to your buddies where I picked you up? Judd? Yeah, that's fine. You want to talk about anything that happened at Megan's house? Kind of interested to know what that was. I don't really want to talk about it. I mean, I'd look at it this way. You can go on whatever kind of date you want to with whoever you want to now. I mean, when you got in the car, you barely knew whether you wanted the relationship to work or not. So, you know, silver lining. You're not from here, right? No. Where are you from? Wyoming. Talk to your parents often. Uh, no, maybe three, four times a year at this point. Who was it you said you called your lady? Uh, Miss Fuzz, or Fuzzy. It's funny, right? Yeah. Let me turn the radio on or something? I feel like you just kind of want me to shut up. Yeah, I like the silence.
perfect kale omelet is to keep the temperature low. too, man. <laughs> uh, put your fucking clothes on. You goddamn queer.
It's me, Fuzzy. Shh. You just hit your head really hard, and I don't want you to hurt yourself. Please stop. Yeah. Look, I made you breakfast. Okay? It's all right. It's me, babe. It's me. Okay? Hold on. Shh. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Shh, don't, don't. You're gonna hurt yourself. What did I just say? It's me, Fuzzy. Look, I made you breakfast. Okay? I made you breakfast. 
shower and get all the drunken passengers stink off of me and then when I climbed in bed and you like <sighs> I just helped you back in bed and let you try to sleep it off and then I got you up and got you dressed for the day it's my favorite sweaters on you Salt on it. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Do you, you want me to get some? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Just looking at this picture of us. Yeah, now it's one of my favorite pictures of us. <laughs> I don't remember where we took it. Is in Hawaii, babe, on vacation. Guess I hit my head harder than I thought. You want ice? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. 
Thanks. Easy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm I can't so sorry. We did that. I didn't mean to make you do that. I didn't mean to make you do that. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I mean, he was really nice. It was my fault. I'm oh, so sorry. No, Fuzzy, it's okay. Will you come sit by me? I'm so sorry. Look, oh, baby. God. Look what? at me. Yeah. Okay, will you take my hand? Yeah, baby. Take my hand. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Will you come sit by me? Yeah. Uh, let me come put this thing me. somewhere. Don't yeah. worry about that. No, no, it's fine. Let me just here. <laughs> you okay? Come sit by me, yeah. Hey. Hey. Will you get me out of here? I don't feel good. Will you get me out of here? Oh, please. Just take me on a drive, hey. You were protecting me. No, I... Hey, take my hand. Take my hand. Take my hand, hey. Look at me. Will you look at me? Brandon. Yeah, babe. Hey. Yeah. You were protecting me just now, weren't you? Well, yeah, I mean, he's a pretty big guy. <laughs> he was going to hurt both of us when you protected us. Yeah, have. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Where? Where do you want to go? I don't know. Take us to our spot. <laughs> You want to go to our spot? Yeah, will you take me to our spot? <laughs> will you take me to our spot? Yeah, okay. Please. Do you feel better? Yeah, I feel better. You sure? I just want you to take me you to our spot. Want... Yeah, I just I want to get, get out, out of the here. house if you don't feel good. I feel good. Will you untie me, please? Please untie me. Take me to our spot, okay? Yeah. Just take me, please. Okay. Just untie me. All right. You're, you're a little stressed mm -hmm. out, and I don't want you to get feel bad. Just hold for a sec, all right? Be right back. What did you do yesterday? Uh, drove most of the night. Um, I didn't go as late as I normally do, though. Uh, it was, like, somewhat busy, but, you know, once the fare started getting really high, everybody kind of backed off even more. Did you pick up anybody interesting? Uh, yeah, there was one guy that was kind of... He was funny, like, you know? <laughs> Where did you pick that guy up? But yeah. What was his name? Derek, I think. Derek? Yeah. He's nice, you know? Anybody not nice? <laughs> no.
look at me, please, Brandon. It is not what you thought it was. I was just saying hi to the little boy, okay? Just do this. Brandon. Don't, don't, don't. Where are we going? I thought we were gonna go get something to eat. We're gonna go get something to eat, okay? You okay? Babe, don't. Where are we going? Talk to me, where are you taking me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. I was just saying hi to that little just boy. Stop. I'd rather just get home because I know you're not feeling so well today. And no, I'm I... fine. I'm fine. I I feel completely okay. Let's just go to the house right now. Get you some water and you can relax for a second. I thought we were going to go to the spot. That would make me... Stop. Oh! 
find it? Yeah. To the airport. All right. Thank you. How's your morning? Good. Good. Thank you. Hey buddy, have a good flight.